Who's ready to be productive this summer? <laughs> yeah, same. I am not at all. <laughs> not at all, okay? As evidenced by me watching four hours of YouTube yesterday. Very impressive stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. Dude, for some reason, I'm literally so addicted to Store and JCS Criminal Psychology now. Like, after that one video by JCS Criminal Psychology showed up on my feed, I just can't stop watching it. I don't even know why. It's literally not even that cool. But, like, <laughs> bro, it's actually kind of interesting, not gonna lie. But, yeah, honestly, I have not been productive at all this first week of summer, dude. But now it is time to finally change that. Let's do it. Let us do it together, okay? Hello everybody, I'm Karara, and I know that <laughs> being productive during the summer is pretty hard, right? Like, it's summer, come on, you just want to chillax, but you gotta be productive, okay? Summer is the best time to be productive. So today, we're just gonna be talking about what to do during your summer and how to pump the most productivity out of it. And I'll even be making some goals for myself too at the end, so stay tuned for that. It's not gonna be that fancy, okay? I'm a graduated senior, okay? We don't do anything during summer. I'm just gonna chillax this summer, but I still got stuff I want to do, so we're gonna go through that, okay? Hopefully your guys' to-do list look a lot sexier than mine. Let's just say that. <laughs> Alright, so let us get started with the tips and tricks and steps and whatever to get your to-do list in shape. So the first thing that you always want to consider when you're deciding what you want to do during summer is obviously what you have to get done during summer, okay? Like this is basically any summer programs, classes, internships, literally anything that you have to attend, like you paid for it, you like have to get it done by a certain date, this is all that stuff. Any summer assignments for school, college forms and logistics is not applicable to most of you guys, but like if you have any forms you had to fill out by a certain date. And no, playing three hours a league a day does not count as something you have to do, okay? <laughs> I promise you, you could survive. And once you've thought of all the stuff you have to do, this should be pretty easy, right? Like, you know what you have to do, you know what you don't have to do, right? So just write it down, write it down somewhere and you should be good. Okay, so now that we're done with the easy part, this is the more hard part and the part that's probably the most important, okay? What you want to get done. You gotta know what you wanna get done. So basically look forward to year, right? Like look to the next school year and see what you wanna get done during the school year like for example if you wanted to get to the next level of math olympiads like i did like once upon a time when i was a little young troll who was like five foot tall <laughs> no i'm kidding i was like five foot seven i don't even know how tall i was at the beginning of high school but that's not the point okay the point is once you've thought of what goal you want to accomplish during the school year write it down and then also write down what you're going to do during the summer to get there right like for math olympiads you would say oh i want to do like three amy problems a day go through this aops textbook like finish the whole thing and then maybe move on to the next one like for example for me i think during the summer of sophomore year i'd probably say that was my most productive summer i basically like said i want to improve at quizbowl cs and maybe a little bit of physics and i also wanted to start my youtube channel of course right that's when i started my youtube channel so i basically just prioritized what i most wanted to do right like i really like quizbowl i wanted to do that and I also wanted to get better at CS. Now, <laughs> of course, like, I didn't think I could get past Platinum, so I just, like, didn't even bother studying for Yusuko at that point. But I basically started working on the side project with my brother. It was nothing too fancy, but I basically learned how to use Angular. I learned how to use, like, SQL, databases, all that good stuff. So, yeah, it was very fun. We basically made a website with a backend, and it was cool. And then once I decided what I wanted to do, right, then I was just like, okay, what specifically do I want to do? For a quiz bowl, I'm going to do one hour reading a day. And then for the CS project, I'll work on it, like, two hours a day, right? And then for YouTube, I was like, put out one video a week. But you guys know what happened after that. I just decided to go to three videos a week what the heck well, i don't know what i was thinking but yeah i managed to do three videos a week until like senior year and then i chose so that was pretty cool <laughs> that's another example of when like if you start off a bit too low for yourself and you want to go a little higher th there's nothing wrong with that right just start off small and then if you're not discouraged then you could go up a little bit and improve your goal also within this category of what you want to get done you could also think about all the stuff you wanted to do during the school year but you never had time to do like for example if you wanted to learn algorithms for years ago but you never had the time to like finish the courses right this is a perfect time to do so okay you literally have plenty of time okay summer is like probably the most chill time you're gonna get if you can't do it during summer you're not gonna ever be able to do it like this stuff could be completely random things that you weren't able to do right like Maybe you didn't have the time to start working out during the school year, right? And you just wanted to get started with working out during the summer when you have time. And then the habit will like carry over to the school year, right? If you want to start good habits, that's a perfect time to do so. Like for me, it's definitely guitar and finance, right? Like during the school year, I just could not practice guitar at all. I was literally just going to classes without practicing. And my guitar teacher's like, what this nonsense, dude? This is literally what you showed me last time. Oh, I felt bad, okay? Like literally the only time I improved in guitar was like during the classes. I, I Like I improved pretty good. I was able to learn new songs, but it was very, very slow. I wanted to practice a lot more so now i'm actually practicing daily and that's why it's a very epic and then for finance like it's another thing that i just didn't have time to do during the school year but like i'm literally going to college so i should probably know how to handle my money kind of you know what i'm saying dude finance is actually so like whack there's so many random things you gotta know and i just don't know any of it i'm like fully clueless on this stuff but i, I gotta learn it at some point so that's i also gotta do that and then like one last thing about like what you want to get done this could also be for like school or college right if there's any courses that you think might be hard just think of ways you could prepare for it ways you could like w like lessen the workload during the school year because as much as you could lessen the workload during the school year the better because <laughs> that time is when you're going to be fully stressed you don't want to worry about like 
all the extra work you're gonna have to do. I'm taking a bunch of really hard classes at Berkeley for a semester, so I'm for sure gonna be looking at the stuff <laughs> beforehand just to make sure I don't get completely memed. But hopefully it'll be okay, okay? You guys better give me the strength I need to slap those physics problems. Wait, no. <laughs> Am I doing physics class? No, I'm not even doing a physics class for a semester. Slap those CS problems in the face. Let's do it. Okay, very nice. So now you have what you know you gotta get done, know you want to get done, and now you got the stuff you know you want to do for fun, okay? Like all this other stuff with like setting goals, all that like cheesy nonsense, New Year's resolution, nobody likes that, okay? No one cares how much you like want to work out and like show off your muscles, okay? <laughs> The real deal is what you do for fun, okay? That's the three hours of league you gotta play every day. <laughs> now, this one's kind of whack because people are like, come on, it's for fun. Why would I have to like decide what I want to do for fun? Isn't the whole point just to do whatever you want? But there are two very different kinds of fun and I learned this the hard way, okay? There's good fun that leaves you feeling happy and ready to do work after, right? And then of course there's the other type of fun that doesn't make you happy but it's brain dead so you just do it for like four hours and then eventually you realize that you just wasted four hours of your life and you didn't get anything out of it. And you still want to do it after and your brain is even more dead than when it started, okay? That's the bad type of fun. And and trust me, I've had a lot of bad type of fun and I am still doing it, but I'm trying to get over it, okay? So some examples of good fun, for example, is Protable, right? Like that one's good because you learn new stuff, you can play with friends, like it doesn't leave you feeling empty after you're not like, oh, I would have wasted an hour. And also it's not the kind of thing where you could just play for four hours, okay? Like it's not addicting or anything. Well, okay, fine. It's maybe a little bit addicting. I used to play like hours of it <laughs> during software year, but we don't talk about that. We do not talk about that. Learning chess is also a good type of fun, right? Because it does not, it's not really addicting, but like you still get problem solving skills out of it. <laughs> Doing math and CS problems is probably the nerdiest thing I could possibly say, but like they're kind of fun, okay? They're literally kind of fun. And then of course reading is probably a good type of fun because it's not like you could get like wrapped into it, but at least you feel like you got something out of it, right? You like get to the end of the story, right? Or like you get some writing skills from osmosis. Like honestly, reading is a lot better than other kinds of activities you could do. And of course you can read nonfiction, which is even better. <laughs> Campbell Biology, my recommendation, you guys better do it. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Reading textbooks is not exactly the best way to use your leisure time, but <laughs> I mean, you could, right? It's still fun for some people. People like me, bio nerds, I don't know. <laughs> and now we're on to the examples of bad fun, and this is pretty easy, okay? Just anything where you're surfing the web, okay? Like surfing YouTube, surfing Instagram, I don't care what you use, iFunny, I don't know who uses iFunny, but my friends do, okay? But the problem with these things is you waste so much time on it, and then you just click on random videos because it's interesting, it looks interesting, and then you watch it, and it doesn't actually teach you anything. Like, I watch all these JCS criminal psychology videos, and they're all like really creepy, like murder cases and stuff, and I don't get anything from it, okay? I just watch it because it's brain dead and I don't know how to think and like I could just click on it for four hours and spend time that way. But after the four hours, I feel horrible about myself. I don't feel like doing any work and I'm just tired. I just want to go to sleep. So <laughs> don't just surf YouTube. It's fine like once in a while, like on a weekend at, at night, but don't ever do it in the afternoon or morning, okay? So a very good way to prevent you from using the bad type of fun is to write down good ways you're going to have fun, right? Like I literally write down, okay, the, the things you're allowed to do are protable, like learn chess, play chess, whatever like do some math and CS problems and maybe read some cool books that you find. All right, so that's basically all the main tips I got. Just for like one final like thought, I guess, is like take a break during summer, right? You're not gonna get a break during the school year. It's a lot harder during the school year to get some free time. So take a break during the summer, but at the same time, you don't need like like 18 hours of break every single day, okay? So take a break, but don't waste it, okay? Like if you're able to take advantage of it now, then you won't have to worry about like stressing out a ton during the school year. You could get a lot of stuff off your plate right now. Alrighty, so now that we've talked about all the tips, let us actually put it into action and make myself a to-do list. It's gonna be very epic, I promise. So basically this is my to-do list template and we're just gonna call it like cool stuff because why not? Stuff, I did not say that right the first time. And basically let's just brainstorm what kind of stuff we gotta do. So first off, I like to start with stuff I have to do, right? So I basically have a schedule. For me, it's like pretty simple because I'm not actually doing any internships or classes or any programs or anything, but I, the only thing I have is like on Thursdays, I have a guitar class at um, 3.30. So I'm just going to put that in here. Very cool. And basically in this section, you can put whatever stuff you have during the week. Like I also have a dentist appointment at three. So this might not actually work. I might have to reschedule, but <laughs> there's also a good reason why you got to put it down. Okay. So we got a dentist appointment at three o'clock PM. So then the next thing I like to do after you do the schedule, then you basically want to do your daily to do. So this is basically all the habits you want to get any like stuff that you don't want to think about too much, but you want to improve slowly or steadily. Right. I used to have like read one hour of quizbowl a day in this area, but like now that I'm done with quizbowl, I'm probably not going to do it too much in college. I don't really want to do that. I, I might just read it for fun when I'm bored, but I'm not going to make it a daily to do or anything, but I do want to work out every day. Okay. So let us put that everywhere. 
And the reason why I make it red is because if I don't make it green, I feel so bad about myself. So that is very important. Okay, you gotta start with red and make it green after. Then I also want to put out my daily CS pot does for you boys. Okay, very epic. There you go. That, <laughs> there you go. Okay. Now, anything else I want to do? Now, of course, I wanted to get better at finance and like... Honestly, I think the best way to break up that, like, I, I literally don't know what to do to get better at finance. So I think the best way to get better at it is just to spend an hour every day trying to learn something new about it. So I'm just going to put like one hour of finance learning. I don't know. I honestly don't know what that's going to look like, but we're just going to put it and we could like find resources during that one hour if we don't know what to look at. Okay, nice. Anything else we want to do daily? Oh yeah, I want to play practice my guitar daily just to make sure I don't uh, forget how to play. That would be very sad. 30 minutes of guitar. Oh, uh, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it for daily to-dos. If I think of anything, I'll put some more. Alright, so now that we're done with the daily to-dos, what we got to do is we got to think about like the different categories of stuff we want to do, right? So, I don't really have much stuff I had to do, right? Like, this is literally it. Um, I guess I could put some Berkeley stuff that I have to do, so I have to like <laughs> do some health waiver, health insurance waiver or something, so I'll put that down. I also gotta like make sure I know what extracurriculars, right, like um, decide on extracurriculars. I already decided my classes, but we could talk about it later. And I also, what else do I need? Oh yeah, look over, look over um, class materials. Oh, I'll, I'll probably make like a new category here just to write down my classes then, I guess. Like I know it's not very necessary to write it down, but I'm just gonna write it down because it helps me keep track of what I'm doing. So, we're gonna write down what classes we're doing. Now, obviously, I haven't signed up for these classes, so <laughs> I don't know um, whether I'll actually get them, but this is what it is for now. Okay. And we'll make these all red. Alright, so now that we're actually done with all the stuff I have to do, now we can talk about the stuff I want to do, right? And that's obviously you guys, right? I want to make videos for you guys, so let us make that. So, Carrara. Okay. And obviously, I have to do two videos a week. So, we're gonna do record on... Ideally, we record on the weekend. So, I'm gonna put one recording on Sunday. And I also gotta post on Sunday. So, we'll edit, like, finish editing the video on Saturday. Okay. And then, we also wanna post one on Thursday. So, we need to finish editing here. And I think sometime around here is a good time to record the next video. Like, Thursday or Friday, I'm pretty free. So, that should be good. Okay. And now, I also am making a website for you guys. Okay. I don't know... Okay. I have, like, a video I could show you. I'll send it to my editor and maybe you could edit it in. But... It's not done yet, but it's gonna be very cool, okay? It's gonna have, like, pot does, it's gonna have, like, playlists of different creators, like, it's called Karara Courseware, where they basically get to share a playlist with you guys, and I basically vet it and make sure that it's good. And basically the point is, we want to get as many resources for Olympiad dudes like you guys as possible in one place. So that'll be very fun. I'll put all the resources and stuff that we've been sending to the Discord on the website. It'll be very cool. And essentially, I want to spend, like, one hour? No, I think, okay, I want to get this done by the end of summer, so we're just gonna say 1.5 hours of website okay every day and essentially i could obviously do three hours one day and then like take a break the next day and i'll still hit my quotas but that is good and of course bucket list finish the website okay that's what i want to do by the end of summer i guess another thing that i want to do is i also want to like um i want to get like a bunch of stuff started with the channel like if any of you guys are uh interested in helping me like develop curriculum for different like um olympiad fields just let me know like go to the discord and join and we could like talk about it. I just want to get as many interested people as possible because I can't do it all myself, okay? So very epic. What else do we got? Okay, so I also have this like thing that I'm running. It's a science tournament, quiz bowl style, and I need to make sure I like actually plan that out. So I'm just gonna spend like 30 minutes a day just like editing questions, um, working on the website, making sure everything runs smoothly. Let's do that. Dude, we were originally gonna do it in June, but people were like completely swamped. We didn't write enough questions, so Hopefully we're able to get it done during summer. That should be good. If we do 30 minutes a day, we should, okay. Hopefully everybody else actually get their stuff done. That would be epic. Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure I don't get bad at art, okay. So I like drawing, so we should probably just put in art somewhere. Um, let's do like 30 minutes of art every day. I'll just put sketching, but like as long as I'm doing some kind of art, it should be good. Oh yeah, over here I'm just going to put like editing, website, and what else could we do? Oh yeah, like logistics, okay. So basically just putting down the main thing that I have to work on. And we could put this everywhere. And then I guess for guitar, like also for guitar, other than going to class and actually practicing every day, I also want to like make sure I work on some projects like throughout the week. So um, we're just going to put it every other day because I want to make sure some project gets done so that my guitar teacher actually has something to critique. So we're going to do one hour of project. Okay. All right. So now that we're done with the stuff I had to do and the stuff I wanted to do, now we can finally get onto the fun stuff. Okay. So um, for me, I think Pro Bowl is definitely a very fun thing and maybe like like PK, that's basically when they give you bonus questions and there's a bot on Discord that lets you do it, so that's fun. Um, we could also do math and CS questions, that'll be fun too. Like, I literally just do hacker rank for fun, it's literally, <laughs> it's not hard, right, if you do the easy questions, but it's just fun trying to see how fast you could do it and how cleanly you could do it. I want to also get better at chess, learn chess, 
Now, the thing is, if you play chess just, like, randomly doing moves, then it's not very fun. Like, I mean, it's fun, but, like, you don't actually learn anything. So, I'm going to try to, like, actively learn what I'm playing. So, it's actually fun and rewarding, okay? And then, of course, reading, okay? And I'm basically reading this cool book called The Code Book. It's basically about cryptography, and cryptography is so cool. <laughs> so, that is what we're doing, okay? Anything else? Anything else we got to do for fun? I mean, maybe, like, read just, like, <laughs> read a fiction. I don't know. I don't know what fiction books. If you guys have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments. I need a, I need some fiction recommendations. Literally, the only fiction book I've read for the past two years is Percy Jackson. I just read that over and over again. <laughs> oh, it's kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. Um, anything else? I think we are good then. Okay. Then, let's read these boys, and we should be epic. All right, and there's a to-do list. You could basically add whatever categories are necessary for you. You could basically... Change this however the heck you want, right? This is very flexible, but it also puts everything in one place. And when you finish stuff, you can make it green, and it feels really good. So that's how I organized myself. Hopefully it was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. This is literally what I do every time I like have some time and I want to figure out what I'm doing with my life. So I, I hope it was helpful for you guys as well. But anyways, other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time.